what we really want to focus on here uh, are advanced counting techniques. Um, basically, these involve uh, combinations. Typically, they involve combinations. Rarely do they involve permutations. Um, because if order really did matter that much, then we wouldn't uh, be doing some of these techniques. Um, so let's take a look at an example. So suppose you have a group of uh, friend, six neighbors, and, and the group decides to have a friendly basketball game at the park. They want to play two on two and have a third player on each team act as the substitute player. Um, so when team members get tired. There are four adults and two teenagers in, in the group. They want to choose the team and starting lineup as randomly as possible. So the first question is, what is the probability that the starting lineup contains only adults? Well, here I've drawn um, basically the six players, adult one, adult two, adult three, adult four, um, teenager one, and teenager two. So the first thing that's helpful to know is, since I'm going to be randomly choosing um, the starting lineup from this group, I'm going to randomly be choosing four people at a time. Now, since order doesn't really matter, it doesn't matter whether I choose adult one, then A2, then A3, and then T1 versus doing T1, A3, A2, A1. We're just assuming that we're randomly drawing four players, and then maybe later we'll decide randomly which two are going to go to one team and which two are going to go to the next. So to know the total number of ways to form a team of, of four, uh, total number of ways to form a group of four, Where order doesn't matter, well, that would be six people, choose four of them, so six combination four, and that will tell us just the number of ways in which we can get a group of four people. So I'm going to get my, uh, my uh, smart view up here so we can calculate this, figure out how many ways this can happen in. And once we know that, we've basically established our total, our denominator and the probability. Um, that'll be constant regardless of what outcome we're looking for the probability of because that's just the total number of ways to, to randomly choose a group of four people. So we're going to come in here and we're going to do six combination four and that gives us 15. So if basically we counted the number of ways to, to grab four people out of here, where, again, it doesn't matter what order we grab them in, there would be 15 ways to do that. Okay, so 15 ways to, to, to choose a team of four. Now, well, what is the probability that the start, starting lineup contains only adults? So for the first bullet point, I'll number this number one. Well, how many ways can you draw four adults if order doesn't matter? There are only four adults meaning that there's only one way you could grab four adults from this group of six. Alternatively, from the subgroup of adults, there are four of them, we want to select four people. So that's how many ways there are to select four people from a particular group of four. You'll notice that our n has changed here because we're only look counting the number of ways to grab the four adults. Now since we want to take four combination four, you're going to notice that that also tells us, hey, there's only one way to do that. One way to have all adults. You either have all four of them or you don't. Okay, so the probability of all adults, or if you prefer, the probability of having A1 and A2 and A3 and A4, would in this particular case be 1 over 15. There are one way out of 15 possible ways in which we could just get four adults. In question two, we want to know what is the probability that the starting lineup contains two adults and two teenagers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, let's look at A1, um, A2, A3, A4. So first of all, how many ways are there in which I can draw two adults from this group of four? I want two adults and two teenagers. So I can draw A1 and A2. That's one possibility. I can draw A1 and A3. That's another possibility. Again, order doesn't matter here, so we don't have to do A3, A1. And I can draw A1, A4. OK, well, that's all for uh, A1. A1 has been paired with all the other uh, possible members. So now we can do A2, A3. And I can do A2, A4. And then I can do 